What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with a review for Sisters on BET Season 4 Episode 11. The episode is titled Fine Wine. Now you guys may hear the um, AC running, right? It is hot as hell in this car so I have to turn the air on to get through this video. But um, before we go ahead and get into the video, if you guys are watching this video or any other video on my channel and are not subscribed to my channel, then I'm going to you guys to do me a solid favor and stop taking me out on this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. You guys can do me that favor by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning your notifications on, and sharing the video. And you guys, with that out of the way, without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and discuss Sisters on BT, shall we? All right, you guys, so this episode, we pick up where the last one left off. You guys remember we last left off with Calvin, right? Calvin busts in on the date with Sabrina and Bio, right? So... Calvin says that he knew something was up when she texts him. She says, well, I didn't text you. That was Danny, right? So then he decides he wants to sit down and since, you know, Bayo interrupted their date, right? Let me return the favor and interrupt your date, right? So Calvin sits down with him. He asks Bayo, when did he get Sabrina's phone number, right? Sabrina says, Calvin, stop. Bayo told um, Calvin, get out of my restaurant. Calvin was like, his restaurant oh he got money i was like calvin that is the reason why people play with your sexuality right now the stupid the shit like that right so calvin eventually left right sabrina is so damn annoying right sabrina you chose to go on this date with bayo right calvin showed up it is what it is like you ain't you have not said you love calvin you're not in a relationship with Calvin, right? So, what's the issue? Because Sabrina was ready to go at that point. I'm like, Sabrina, girl, sit there, enjoy that food, and let Calvin go sulk by himself, right? Calvin's a big boy. Like, Calvin was just with Peggy. Peggy. Um, so, girl, y'all, so, Tyler... Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Can we do something better with Sabrina's storyline? Because I really hate Sabrina's storyline. I loathe Sabrina's storyline. If there is one storyline on this show that I hate the most, it's Sabrina's. It's Sabrina's. So then we see Sabrina. So Sabrina eventually got up and she went to go, went to go call Danny, right? And she tells Danny that Calvin showed up to the restaurant and calls the scene. She says, is he okay? I'm like, oh, Danny. So then she asked, you know, um, she asked, Sabrina, asked, no, Danny asked Sabrina, did she leave? She says, no, she's still there, right? She says, girl, get off this phone and go enjoy that date. He probably thinks that you're on the phone with him right now. She's like, really? You guys, once again, Sabrina annoys me. <laughs> Sabrina gets on my last damn nerves. Sabrina is so indecisive. It's like one minute you have an issue with little things that um, Calvin does, right? Then, oh my God, I just realized Sabrina has this. Uh, it's, this is a pattern. Was Cal Tyler? Listen and listen good, right? This is. Please do not let this be a repeat storyline of Jacoby. I just thought about that because she. Oh God, I'm gonna move on, you guys. We're going to move forward. All right, you guys. So let's move over to Calvin and Maurice's crib, right? So Calvin gets back to the um, to the apartment, right? Maurice is there on the couch. Calvin sits down. He's huffing and puffing. And Maurice is like, what's wrong? He says, I don't want to talk about it. He says, well, you might as well go ahead and talk. He says, this is a brand. He says, oh, damn. I was like, oh, great. Right, Maurice? So he says, how did you, he says, so he tells him what happened, right? He went down to the, you know, Sabrina canceled their date. He went down to the restaurant. She's there with Bayo. He says, wait a minute. How did you even know that? He said, I had a, um, he said, I had a feeling. He says, oh, women's intuition. <laughs> oh, I hate Maurice, you guys. I hate Maurice. I hate Maurice. So then Calvin tells Maurice, like, hey, your little boy toy, he's sitting downstairs, right? He's like. He is? He's like, yeah, he's still sitting down there, right? So, Calvin advocates for Maurice going to get Q and letting Q spend the night. I was like, wow. After this man done stole from you, you okay with him spending the night? I mean, I guess, right? 
I guess. So then I'm going to move over to Zach, you guys. So Zach. Zach has gotten out of jail, right? But Zach doesn't have his phone, so he's talking to Jake, right? Jake, he's asked Jake, can he use his phone? He says, but you know what? Fatima's not going to answer that a, a phone call that she doesn't know, right? And Zach, you know, he tells, um, oh boy, Jake, that, hey, when I get my phone, we can get out of here. Is that your ride? He said, yeah. He's like, oh, okay. I see how I see how it was going. He said, so yeah, when I get my stuff, I'm going to get you your money, right? So he's like, cool. We good. So we're going to move back over to Sabrina real quick, right? So after dinner with Bayo, he wants to take Sabrina out dancing. I'm like, shit, you ain't really got to take her out dancing, right? Because all you got to do is, you know, hang her up from the um, ceiling, put a light bulb up, put a light bulb somewhere in her mouth, right? Put a light bulb in her mouth, turn it on, and spin her around because she looks like a damn disco ball. I don't know if, I don't know. I mean, it's a running gag, right, with the way that Sabrina dresses because I'm just like, this can't be because she dresses so old like an older lady right and no shade to older women right but she dresses like an old a older woman she dresses like somebody it, the way she dresses is just it, it i'm like why do they put her in these frumpy ass clothes right so then bale says to sabrina that you know he feels like there's something that's just drawing them together she's like yeah it's the wine he says no it's not that I was like, oh, we literally have another Jacoby and Sabrina situation. <laughs> I think the difference between him and Jacoby is there is none. Because neither one of them took no for an answer. Neither one of them took no for an answer, right? Because Jacoby showed up to Sabrina's apartment. Bayo showed up to Sabrina's job looking for her. They're the same person. Literally the same damn person. All right, you guys. So we're going to pause here and move forward. All right. So we see Andy. So Andy is at her apartment, right? And she got a phone call from the doorman, right? And, you know, she's like, yeah, buzz her up. So it's Karen that comes upstairs, right? Karen gets off the elevator. Karen got a whole ass attitude. I was like, wait a minute now, Karen. You showed up to my place unannounced, right? I was nice enough to let you up. Because I know you're going through some shit, right? But then you come up to my apartment and you got a funky ass attitude with me. And I ain't done you a, I ain't done you a lick of shit, right? So she says she went over to Zach's house and that woman was there. Fatima. And she said that Zach wasn't there, but I know he was there. Karen. Fatima told you Zach wasn't there. You said you didn't believe her. Fatima said you want to come in and see. You said no. So whose fault is that, Karen? Yours. Your fault. She invited you up. She invited you in. She invited you in on more than one occasion, right? When you first got there, she said, come on in. You said no. You wanted to talk to Zach alone. She went and said, she said, okay, I'll go get Zach and have him come out. Then she came back out. She said, Zach is not in there, right? Then you questioned that, right? Because the car is there, right? Then she said, Karen, I'm not lying to you. Do you want to come in and see? You said no, and you left. So, Karen, what the f you mad about? Like, I'm just kind of confused about what is Karen mad about, right? Then you tell Aunt Karen, Andy, you tell Aunt Karen tells Andy, I need to talk to Zach because the cops are after him. Karen, did two and two not register in your brain? You said the cops are after him, right? Why didn't you think that when Fatima told you he wasn't there that maybe the cops had already got him? Girl, Karen, is your wig too tight? Like, what's going on, baby girl? Is that wig suffocating your brain? Like, what's going on? So, she says, I knew he was doing some illegal shit. Well, this is not illegality is what, he's, what he got arrested for. It. But go off, Karen. So then Andy asked her, why are you so upset, right? She says, I don't want him, Andy. 
I lie, I don't care who tell it. So then she says, we're about to have a baby. And I just, girl, stop using that invisible ass baby. God, if there even is a baby. Child, she's already using this baby. Air quotes. She's already using this baby. And we don't even know if the girl is pregnant yet. I, I really can't with her. I really can't with Karen. I absolutely cannot with Karen. Karen, 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 right? So then Andy got a phone call from the doorman again. And this time it is Gary. And she's like, let him up. Well, no, she's, did she say let him up? She she actually, she, she said she said his name. And she says, he's here. She said, yes. She says, let him up. So she says, no. She says, let him up. So Andy lets him up, right? So Gary is coming up the elevator, right? Karen is still in this funky ass attitude. So she's getting ready. So Gary gets off the elevator. Hi, Karen. She didn't speak to him. That one, I don't blame her for, right? I do not blame Karen for not speaking to Gary, right? So then when Gary came up, you know, Andy and him sit down, right? I love the place. He says, I knew you would. Andy is such a damn bird. Andy is an idiot. Andy is the definition of book smart, but she ain't got no street smarts or common sense, right? So then she has, she tells him, so, you know, Robin is coming into town and I told him he could stay here with me. And, you know, it's going to be about a week. Are you okay with that? Well, no, Gary is not going to be okay with that, right? We all know what a controlling possessive obsessive jealous person gary is right but gary says you know if you want him here it's okay i was like wait a minute what who are you fooling you must think you know what he is he, he he's, de- he's he's dealing with andy so andy's gonna buy this shit right because i was just like wait a minute who are you trying to convince that you're gonna be cool with this right i was just thinking to, it was just going in my head like who does Gary think he's convincing? But then I had to sit there and say to myself, JB, and I said, yes. I said, he's talking to Andy. I said, you know what? You're right. It's Andy he's talking to. So yeah, Andy's going to eat this shit up, right? And she is, right? And, and Gary, at one point, he started landing on thick to Andy. I'm like, Andy, do not fall for this, right? So yeah, she says she'll have him stay with her for a week, and then she'll see I'm like, Andy, what are you going to see? Oh, God. You know what? If Andy likes it, I love it. And and that's all I got to say about Andy. That is all I have to say about Andy. Because like I've been saying for weeks now, Andy's eventually going to go back to Gary. We all know that, right? So then she asked him, does he want to have dinner? I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, I can't with Andy. I, I, I really can't. I truly cannot with Andy. But you guys, we're going to pause here and we're going to move forward. All right, you guys. So we move back over to the police precinct, right? So um, Zach and, and Jake are still talking, right? Zach is still talking about Jake's car, right? And at one point he says, you know, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you or with Gary, right? And, you know, he was like, why? Because he was like, I don't trust Gary. He's like, yeah, you know, my girl said that. I was like, you got a girlfriend? I, now, you guys can get in the comments, right? But that first episode when we when Jake told Zach that he liked him, was I the only person that got a vibe that he liked him more than just friends that, you know, he liked, he liked him, liked him, right? But he says, yeah, my girl didn't trust him at first, but now she, I guess she does, right? He said he, the way that Gary comes off, that's to mask his insecurities. What insecurities? Okay. If you, if, if you want to say he's masking his insecurities, He's doing a terrible job. Okay. I ain't got nothing to say about that, right? Zach, stick with your first word, what you said. You ain't fucking with him or Gary. Because I don't trust Jake, right? I just don't trust Jake at all. Jake is just untrustworthy, right? So then we move back over to Maurice, right? So Maurice tells Q, like, hey, Q, you can spend a night, right? He says, and you're going to sleep on the couch. He's like, wait a minute. I can't sleep with you? Um, No. You cannot. What? So you can put a gun to my head? Absolutely not. First of all, you wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be in my apartment, right? Baby, Q would have had to go go to the nearest homeless shelter. I don't give a damn what the police say or that ankle monitor. 
I did not tell him that he could paro that he could probation here or parole here, right? That would did not come out of my mouth. Did you guys call me and ask me was it okay? If you if the answer is no, then that is what the answer is. Capital N O, right? So then Maurice tells him, like, you know, but you're just gay for pay. So Q was trying to play like, oh God. I just don't know what it is with Q or what to believe when it comes to Q, right? I don't, because Q did tell him he was gay for pay, but now he's trying to, but actually, I just figured out what it is, hobo sexual, that's what it is, he ain't got nowhere to stay, so he's going to use, he's going to use that to his advantage, right, so then Q is doing, he says he needs a shower, right, so Q is like, okay, he's like, you can go to the bathroom, take a shower, right, because I don't want your funky ass on my couch, so Q takes his shirt off, he says, you can undress in the bathroom, so then Q starts taking, he unzipped his pants, right? He pulled his pants down. Then he took his his wife beater off, right? Then he pulled his shoes off. He walks towards the bathroom, and as he's walking towards the bathroom, he drops his drawers, right? I'm like, Maurice, I just, I, I, I don't know what to say about Maurice, right? I, I don't really have much to say about Maurice. All right, you guys, so um, we're going to, so we're, at this point, we're wrapping up the episode. So we see Karen. So Karen went over to Danny's apartment, right? And Danny was like me. She was like, wow, Karen is at my apartment. And then I got I got a call from Andy earlier. What's going on here, right? So Karen is wanting us to talk about Zach, right? She just wants, she wonders why she can't let Zach go. Granted, I'm not going to come down hard on Karen, right? I'm really not going to come down hard on Karen at all because... I can understand Karen. I can understand Karen, right? Karen and Zach were together for three years, right? It's hard to let go of that, right? I was in a relationship for five years, right? And it took me a long time to let go of that relationship, right? And I still do have feelings. I still do still have feelings, but not like I used to, right? You know, it takes time to get over someone. And that's basically what Danny told her, right? But Karen... And I get it, right? I, I definitely do get it, right? When Karen was with Zach, he wasn't shit, right? But now he's with Fatima. He wants to be this... He, he's he's this different man, right? Like, I had you. You want nothing. But then she gets you. And you a, um, you a quilted man. Patchwork. You a patchwork man. And now you good for her. But you couldn't be good for me, Right? And I love that Danny was trying to tell her, like, you got to let that go, right? He loves her. And then, you know, she's getting mad about, you know, Fatima. Karen, Fatima is not your enemy. Fatima ain't done nothing to you, right? Because she's upset that the girls are friendly to Fatima. And she's like, she wants to, she wants Zach. She's going to go tell Zach. I'm like, Karen, I, I don't know if you should do that, right? That one, you might have egg on your face, right? You might have egg on your face. But we all knew that Karen was still in love with Zach. Like, that's not a shock. That's not a surprise to anyone who's been watching this show, right? So then the last part of the episode, we see Fatima. So Fatima pulled up to Hayden's house, right? She got a baseball bat. She got a baseball bat in her hand. And she is busting the... I bust the windows out your car. Like, she's busting the windows out of his car, right? She's busting the windows. He comes out. He's like, wait, stop. Because she thinks that he's messing with Zach. He's like, I ain't done shit, right? So then he, he starts running in the house. And the way that he ran toward that house, I died laughing. Right, you guys? So when she ran into the house behind him, who's in, the, in his house? Gary's in his house. And that is actually where the episode ended, you guys. So this was the mid-season finale. So I don't know when Sisters is going to return. I'm, I'm going to have to go look at the Twitter page and see if they have a, a return date. I'm pretty positive we'll get it probably in the summer or so. If not summer, it'll be fall, but I think it's probably going to be summer, right? It's probably going to be the summer. But that's it, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you guys are notified of when I drop anything else. Share the video, you guys. And until the next time, you guys, stay safe out there. Please take care of yourselves. Remember, wash your hands, you guys. Wear a mask. Socially distance. Be blessed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.